In this video, I'm going to show you how to go from this amazing view of Victoria Harbour to this amazing view of Victoria Harbour for free. Hi everyone, I am Essex Dave. Welcome to my channel. And this is the ultimate guide to Victoria Peak in Hong Kong. And when I say ultimate, I mean I'm going to show you how to get to the top for free. If it's your first time to my channel, please consider subscribing and hit that notifications bell. First up, we're going to take one of the iconic star ferries across Victoria Harbour over to Central. going to cost you $3.20 one day to Friday, Saturday, Sunday, public holidays, $4.20, so not so expensive. Here comes the incoming ferry from Central. It's probably the one that we're going to catch back in a minute. Go into the top of the peak for free. Obviously, it involves walking up to the top and I know a shortcut way to the top. This is your chance to bail out now if you don't want to walk. Over the road there, you've got taxis and you can catch the number 15 bus that will take you straight to the top. But as we're walking, you've got to go along this walkway and head towards the Hong Kong Bank building. There are several ways to get there, so that is your target. That's the HSBC building there, the one with like the coat hangers on the front, and we're heading over there and we're going to go underneath and then start to walk up the peak. This is actually my favourite way to get over to HSBC building. going down through the 1970s style subway. Here we are, right in front HSBC building. Together with Chung Kong Tower and the Bank of China. We're going to carry on under the building, past its famous lions, or one of its famous lions, over the road there. By the bus stop you can see some steps that lead up and that's the way up to the peak. This is your last last chance to bail out if you don't want to walk up but otherwise 
it's up the all, all the way. HSBC you come through this little garden and you arrive at St John's Cathedral When you reach the gates, turn right and carry on heading uphill. Some nice old colonial buildings on the way up. Right opposite consular of the United States of America. This is Upper Albert Road. As you can see, there's some serious security measures up on the top of this wall. And in a moment, you'll find out who this house belongs to. There's a clue for you. I don't know if they'll let me carry on taking pictures or not, but this is the old government house where the British colonial governor his official residence and now it's the residence of the CE so you reach Albany Road and you just start walking up you can't really get lost just follow the way up here Get a pretty nice view here of Government House. I think that's St John's building behind. Marriott Hotel. Bank of China. Chung Kong Tower. HSBC, Standard Chartered. Eventually you're going to find yourself here, the Old Peak Road which was the original way that colonial settlers at the beginning made their way up the peak. They chose this way just because it was the quickest way and shortest way up. Of course now there are other roads that's been constructed to take the mini buses, the buses and the taxis and the cars to the peak but it does take at least 45 minutes on the bus. And from here, I expect to get to the top in about one hour. So stick with it and we'll soon be there. For me, this is always the toughest bit. Not only are we beside the main road, but it just seems to get pretty steep up this section. Getting close, some really nice residential buildings in this area. Just give you a little bit of an idea, as you can see we're coming up. If 
this is all part of Victoria Peak here I would say we're one third of the way up congratulations to anyone who's made it this far following my directions it's just a 30 minute walk now to the top all you have to do is follow this nice nice path up through the trees all the way to the top and this is the nicest part the most relaxing part just enjoy it even though it's totally uphill it's really really enjoyable as I said at the beginning <clears throat> to the peak for free but of course we spent three dollars or four dollars depending on the day on the Star Ferry so it's not totally for free it's almost for free but you can offset that money how when you're down at the Star Ferry you can buy yourself a drink this costs eight dollars in 7-eleven up at the peak it costs sixteen dollars so it's double the price anything that you buy up at the peak drinks snacks any kind of food is double the price so any money that you spend at the beginning you can offset it by bringing your own refreshments so therefore you're in credit take my advice lovely rainforest trees all the way up lovely and cool and green the sun can't get through nice canopy of trees just follow it up on the way up you'll notice it gets two to three degrees cooler as well which is great in the summer and also great in the winter actually if you miss your really really cold weather some wild bamboo good for pandas there is a variety of wildlife in amongst the trees and in the last two years I don't know maybe because of climate change I've managed to bump into or encounter wildlife that I'd never seen before coming up the peak over like the last 10 years or more in the last two years I have encountered two green bamboo viper snakes which are venomous and I nearly trod on them that was a close encounter I've seen porcupines at least three times not close up but because they're quite shy and had some fairly close encounters with wild pigs as well and all of those I never saw before look between the trees you can see the peak tower and the peak tower look out but it costs money to go up there and I'm going to show you the exact same views for free wow look at that there's your first stunning view of mid levels you can see Victoria Harbour and you can even see right out to the mountains in the background which is pretty unique because today is quite a clear day normally there's quite a lot of pollution and haze but this is a really fine view get an eyeful of that 
and the good news is it gets better. Just 10 more minutes to the top and we will be in for some fantastic free views. The Peak Tower and the viewing platform at the top. When the tourist season is in full swing, some people come up on the Peak Tram and go up on top of the peak tower and that's as far as they go they don't go anywhere else and it costs them money as I mentioned the peak tower but right behind you find the Peak Galleria and up on the top floor they have a totally free viewing platform with almost identical views to what you pay for behind me. Up on the third floor and through this door. The whole of mid-levels down below and the whole of Kowloon Peninsula and the new, territory, new territories behind. A really, really beautiful day today. You won't always have it this good, sometimes it's quite hazy, but the reason why it's so good today is because for the last five days we've had heavy rain and it's washed all the pollution, all the dirt, all the dust and everything out of the air so we've got a really, really nice clear sky. But the best free views are definitely from Lugard Road. There's two or three lookout places where you get magnificent views all over Hong Kong Island. For me, without a doubt, this is the best panoramic view of Victoria Harbour that you're going to get. If you've got some value from this video, please like it, share it, and as always, I will see you later.